What I want to do is share a video with you guys on how to download and install the Android Developer Tools. Okay, this is known as the ADT bundle. There's a few things you've got to download to get all this um, stuff installed and set up and working correctly. And what this is going to allow you to do in the in the past, I made some videos on how to restore your tablet to factory condition using the tablet, like going on and using key commands. And some people are running into trouble with that, with that process. Maybe there's a the bootloader in there might be corrupt. Something could be wrong during that process. So I've been receiving several emails to do these videos. But before I can do those videos, i got to show you guys how to download the stuff on a Windows computer and uh, set your computer up so you can communicate with your tablet or your, your phone through the USB debug mode. So there's a few things you got to do first, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. There's about three things I'm going to download and show you how to install this and how to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is go find a tool that's going to allow us to extract those files. Like if when we download the Android developer tools, those are packaged, and it's in a compressed uh, f like a file package, compressed format. So you're going to need some t type of tool to extract, which I use something called WinRAR, or I use 7-Zip. 7-Zip is very popular, so let's go ahead and we'll just go to 7-Zip. Dot org and go ahead and click on this right here that says 7-zip and now one thing before we go any further what you guys want to do is um, I'm not sure who's watching the video but I'm you know I don't know how familiar you are with your computer but you want to know what you're running okay so let's take a look if you right click on your icon that says my computer and go to properties it's going to show you here that I'm running Windows 7 ultimate okay and my system type is a 64-bit operating system, okay? That's important because each of these, these items we're going to download, you want to make sure you're choosing 64-bit. So for 7-zip, here it says 64-bit Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Now I'm using Google Chrome for my browser, so my downloads are going to show up down here in the corner in the lower left. So just watch for that, okay? So, okay, that one's downloaded and ready to go, so that's our our 7-zip is downloaded. So now what I want to do, what you also need to do here is go get the, we're going to go to Java because you need the Java developer kit installed. Okay, so go ahead and go to java.com and then you want to come, you know, scroll down to the bottom here where it says developers. We're not installing Java, we're installing the J Java developer kit. So once you get you know to this page right here you want to where it says here where can I get uh, JDK download okay if you, you just read across the sentence here download the latest Java developer kit go to JDK downloads so we're gonna go there now just scroll up a little bit here to the top of the page where you're gonna see what you're gonna see here is um, Java platform J JDK is your Java developer kit okay you don't need NetBeans we're not gonna download that so basically we want to download Java Developer Kit. So go ahead and select that. Okay. Um, this is the Java um, Standard Edition Developer Kit right here. So go ahead and accept the, the license there. Now what you want to do is come down to your file description here. Here's what you can download this one for if you're 32-bit. And if you're Windows 64-bit, um, you want to download this one right here. So i586 will probably work with most, most PCs, but uh, mine's 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and download the Java Developer Kit. Now, there may be a time during my video here that I'm going to pause um, to allow like some of these downloads, but we got one more to go. So we got the Java Developer Kit downloading. Now what I'm going to do is go back to Google. And we are going to type in Android developer development or developer I'm just gonna type well we'll just go with Android development and what you want to do is find this uh, website here Deve oops uh, developer.android.com and uh, go ahead and select Android developer then once you're in here at the top choose develop okay go to tools and once you're in tools come over where it says download okay so this is where we're gonna get our Android SDK 
This is going to be our Android Developer Tools bundle for Windows. It's probably just, you know, you can download these things separately, but I'm not going to get into all that. For someone who may be just starting out, it's probably best just to go with the bundle for Windows. It pretty much includes everything. So go ahead and select that. Once again, there is going to be terms and conditions. Go ahead and accept that. And again, 32-bit, 64-bit, simple. Mine's 64-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and start this download. Now you're going to notice it's starting to download now. And you can see that's going to probably take a little bit. So I'm going to pause this. And once, once I come back, this will be completely done downloading. So that's, I'm going to pause, and I will be right back, guys. Okay, so I'm back here again. We got about 10 seconds left or so here for this download for the ADT bundle. And it's just about done. Now, on my computer, I have something called WinRAR downloaded, which is another program that allows me to extract files. So it's similar to 7-Zip. Um, real quick. We, I'll show you real quick, but okay, so that's done. So now I have all three downloaded that I need for the computer. Real quick, and let me show you WinRAR. So if you put, type into Google WinRAR, you don't have to do anything with this, but if you're going to download WinRAR, you would go to um, RAR Lab, so RAR Lab, and then you would go ahead and take a look in here and go to uh, Downloads over there on the left. And then come down and pick your, you know, you're either your whatever your, you know, you would pick here from the list, whether you're Dutch or whatever Chinese, um, English 32-bit, English 64-bit, and all that is is very similar to 7-Zip, which I already have installed, or I already have WinRAR installed, installed, but we didn't install 7-Zip yet. But both are pretty much. Uh, 7-Zip probably is a little more of like a um, manager type program but for, for extractions. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and continue on with the video. I just wanted to show you guys another option there. Uh, I like WinRAR. So. so, okay, as far as that's concerned, one thing you guys need to know is where your downloads are going. I've downloaded these. They're sitting at the bottom of my browser here. In Chrome, I have my downloads if I go to downloads you can see that we've downloaded everything if I open my downloads folder there um, my stuff is going to be sitting in here okay so let me just delete looks like I have an extra one in there because I had downloaded some downloaded this before and I also have an extra Java development kit there I don't need but here's our bundle and what we're gonna do is go it is once you find out you know I don't know if you guys are having your stuff go you know into your you got to know where your downloads are going so if you go into your user account maybe they're in downloads okay in your downloads that's where they're at in mine um, I have my browser set up to drop them in here so just know where you've downloaded this stuff to and what you want to do is go in and uh, copy the ADT bundle okay and go into your user account here and paste that in there. Okay, so you just want to put it in your user account along with, you know, next to your pictures folder, your my videos and um, favorites and downloads, whatever. But just get it out here where you can at least take a look at it, okay? Um, go ahead and create a new folder in here called ADT or you can name it directory whatever you want to do but I'm just going to name it Android developer tools because I'm going to extract this to Android developer tools now like I said mine's showing up like this because I have WinRAR but I'll show you you have the choice of choosing 7-zip so I'm gonna go ahead and extract um, this well in a minute let me download let me uh, get the rest of the downloads here bring over um, go into your downloads folder and get the Java developer kit and copy that okay go back to your user account and drop that in there just want to get these files moved over into your user account where we can see them okay and work with them from there this may be an extra step that you don't have to do, but uh, let's see, where is 7-zip? Yeah, I see it right here. 
I have a couple copies of that too, it looks like. About three or four there. So we only need one of um, the seven zip. So what we'll do is go back to uh, our user account here and paste that in there. So here's my download, 7-Zip, Java Developer Kit, Android Developer Tools. First thing you want to do is install 7-Zip. Okay. Accept the uh, licenses. Just leave the directory set up. Don't change the location. This may take a minute or two to uh, install. Again, you don't necessarily have to move these files into your user account. I just wanted them in there for purposes of the video to show you what I'm clicking on. Um, you just need to know where you're downloading the stuff and you can actually click on it and install it from there. Um, the one thing you do want to put in your user account is the ADT bundle, or at least extract it to your user account, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I have 7-Zip installed now. So the next thing I want to do is install the Java Developer Kit. Okay. Again, with this Java Developer Kit, this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? You probably won't get that message. I already had it installed. Just go ahead and click Next to install it. So we'll wait a minute here for this. shouldn't take too much longer here okay so you know if you guys if you see something flashing down on your down on your taskbar click it so this pops up so you want to get this screen here the setup just leave everything the uh, directories don't change nothing leave all that stuff set up the way it is there just go ahead and install that onto your computer So again, guys, I, I moved all these into my user account here, which you, you know, there's my name. You'd put them in your user account. Just easier for me to work on the files here and show you what I'm doing. So when you're downloading them initially from the websites I showed you to go to, you can download them directly to your, right into your user account if you'd like. That might save you some time. Okay, so just click Next Steps here. Um, once you're this far, um, you should be all right. So go ahead and just close out of that um, website and I'm going to close out of my downloads. So actually when you click next steps um, it takes you to that web page. Just go ahead and click close once you're done there. Okay so now we have, um, I'm going to go back into my user account here. So I have that installed. Now what we have to do is I created this ADT folder that's empty in my user account. I want to extract the ADT bundle into this folder. Okay. Now it says here I can I have something called WinRAR on my computer, and that's why you see the little book stacked here. It's a compressed file. Um, you can choose 7-Zip to do this, so that's what we'll do. Just uh, right-click on this file, go to 7-Zip, and extract. Click Don't click Extract Files here because it'll throw files all over in here. You want to click Extract Files, left-click that, and then here's where you're going to choose where you want it to go, your path. So what you want to do is that you use your account click the little arrow and select the AD the new ADT folder that you made click OK and we're gonna extract all the files into the ADT this ADT folder here so we'll wait while it's extracting files doesn't take too long to do this but what this is doing is extracting the Android developer tools into this folder and once you do this you want to leave this stuff set up um, unless you're a little more savvy at going in and changing your directory path but I would just leave everything the way it is after you install it until you get more familiar with what you're actually doing here so now that that's done you can actually go into your ADT folder okay here is the folder the uh, Android developer tools and here's your SDK manager. 
We'll click that and let that start up a minute. Okay. So that's the Android SDK Manager. I want to make sure Eclipse opens up. What this essentially is going to allow you guys to do is um, does it make apps. Um, this program right here, and I'll show you how, is going to allow us to connect your tablet or phone to your computer through USB debug mode, and then you'll be able to um, restore it. So here it says it stores your, pro your, full, your projects in a folder called Workspace. I'm just going to leave it here in the user account. In my user account, it'll create a folder in there called Workspace. So just click OK. And again, since you're saving everything to your user account, if you guys need to back things up, this may be easier for you because it's all going to be in one location. Okay, so there is our Android developer tools. Um, it uses you know Java Developer Kit here to run. If you have any issues with this, um, some people, this is why in, uh, we did this in this order. We put Java Developer Tool, the Java Developer um, Kit on there first. Uh, so we wouldn't have any issues. So there, that opens up just fine. Okay, so let's just go back here and start from the beginning. So basically, my video is done at this point. That's all I wanted to do is show you guys how to get set up. Now what you would do, you know, these here are the downloads that you can delete those if you wanted to, or you can just save them as a backup. Eventually, they'll all update anyway. Um, you know, if you go to the website, you'll probably download a newer version Okay, so go in the ADT folder, and you want to go into the SDK, and then under Platform Tools, in here is where you're going to be working with your device. If you, if you hold down Control-Shift and right-click on your mouse and go down here where it says Open Command Window here, go ahead and click that. This is the window you're going to get, okay, and this should come up just fine, and what will happen here, on my, I'm going to start here on my next video and show you guys how to go ahead and unlock your bootloader to your phone or your tablet and then start getting into restoring using the factory images off of Google off the Google website okay so that's pretty much all I got for you guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you can download this stuff and get your computer set up and ready to communicate with your Nexus device I will put um, when I get into making the video showing you how to restore your tablet you know you're gonna lose root you're gonna lose pictures all that stuff it's gonna do a complete factory restore so you know the first thing you need to do the first thing like my next video is going to be on the first thing we're gonna do is unlock the bootloader so I'm gonna do another video on that and then the third step of course is going to be restoring the tablet with the factory image so I hope you guys enjoyed the video Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and uh, you guys have a great one. Thanks.